Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the WC Web TV halftime show. And tonight we begin to we're, we're beginning the playoffs. Actually, we're in them right now. And our guest is Mr. Bubba Hathorn, supervising principal of Wayne County High School, a frequent guest on our show. Good to have you back, Coach. Marshall, it is great to be back with you guys. Uh, glad to be here. Yes, sir. Lots going on. First thing I got on my mind here is A grade school. Now, congratulations. I haven't really had a chance to speak with you about that. Job well done, sir. Yeah, we appreciate it. And it is a it is a team effort. Uh, we were kind of notified uh, mid late September that it was going to be a very strong possibility. Where that where our numbers were falling out at a 7.59, and there was some stuff up for review. And then it, it became official um, early October, and that's that's when it got out. So we're really excited. The only bad, you know, I guess, the only negative is, you know, we're nine weeks into the school year, and uh, you know, you can't just kind of stop what you're doing preparing. But our teachers and our student body, our kids that graduated last year, there's a lot of people had a hand in it. That that leads me to this question. You know, when it comes to this state testing, I mean, first of all, what does it signify? You say you got an A grade. In your words, what does that signify? Well, an A grade for us or for anybody in the state means that under the current um, model that that we're judged under, we're we're at the top of that. And um, um, do you know how many A grade schools there are? Yeah, there's there's roughly um, right around a hundred. Yeah, and we're 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 right there, obviously in the mix. Okay, we're, we're, an A starts at a seven fifty four, and it tops at a thousand. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, we were at a seven fifty nine. Mm -hmm. So. Um, under the current model, uh, we're excited. It's something that Wayne County High School has never attained as an A rating. So, uh, since since it became Wayne County High School in '89, wow! So that's big that's deal. Big deal. It really is. It's, <laughs> that's a big deal for us. How does this? Okay, you, 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 I'm sure there's some preparation that goes, some planning that goes into preparing for these tests. Sure. Do you have a committee or a team that leads, that prepares, and leads through this endeavor? Yes. All right. So. It's basically off of uh, Algebra 1 for our freshmen, English 2 for our 10th graders, Biology 1 for our 10th graders, and U.S. History for our 11th graders. And we have a team of teachers. We have a team of U.S. History teachers that's a, a, as, good as, as good as you'll find. We've got an Algebra 1 group that's as good as you find. Same thing with our Biology and our English 2 teachers. Uh, we have, um, we kind of handpick those teachers. Those teachers uh, thrive off of um, I, I guess the word I'm looking at that they love to be competitive ah. and uh, they love the pressure and uh, they, they perform really good under pressure and uh, it, it takes a special person to know that test inside and out and to make sure those kids are getting uh, everything that they need uh, as, as far as a passing score right. and uh, so we have a group group that I wouldn't trade for no for no one um, we have uh, certain certain things we do three times a year that, that we, we test the kids on to see where they are and their benchmarks from uh, from the group that we use for Master Connect. Uh, Crystal Bates is in charge of all that with all of our state testing teachers and uh, she keeps them lined up and they do a r outstanding job as far as academics and curriculum here. Well, that's what school's about, isn't yeah, it? That's what it's all about. I'm telling you, you, you can't play ball the rest of your life. you got to have something to fall back on. And, uh, so. You know, you, you may have already addressed this, Tom, about, you know, the, the monitoring, the three tests, and mm -hmm. you adjust your, your curriculum to meet the mm -hmm. needs. But, you know, as far as the testing front, what's next on the testing front, and where do we go from here? So our kids will take, between Thanksgiving and Christmas break, they will take the second benchmark, which, which they, a total of three, to get ready to test uh, late April, early May. And each one of these benchmarks covers a certain amount of the material. And um, when we just we kind of have a pretty good idea where we are yeah. at each one, if we need to back up and, and, and reteach something, or if we need to speed up and continue to move on, it's just a uh, checks and balances for us. And the last few years, it's worked really, really good. It's really, really good for us. It is a really, really good predictor yeah. of where the kids are as far as pass fail. Are they growing? Um, stuff like that. Well, if you don't know where they are, you can't get them to where they need to be, can you? Uh, that's for sure. But I'm going to tell you this: our data, we get a, we get their data from the seventh grade, and we track those kids all the way through the eleventh grade, and we know exactly what the, the teachers know exactly what these kids have to score to yeah. show growth or proficiency or pass fail, whatever. But uh, Crystal does an outstanding job 
getting that information in the yeah. teacher's hands. All righty. Well, we're excited about that. Uh, and we, again, salute you on that and all the folks that's got a part of that and our kids. That's now, for sure. it's uh, November. Holiday season on the way. Is there anything interesting going on during the holiday season or schedules that we might have to deal with that you can think of off the top of your head? And I know you're not prepared for this because I didn't tell you I was going to ask that. But. You know, I'm going to tell you this. I hope we're getting ready for South State playoffs. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a great time of the year for administrators because soccer's in full season, basketball's in full season, and football's still going on. I know, we're in a, I know we're in a basketball tournament Monday and Tuesday of Thanksgiving over at Lawrence County, and that's been a tradition we go over there. But, you know, it's look, it's 365 days in a year, whatever we got. If it's around and it'll roll Wayne County to play it, <laughs> and uh, we will be there. But, yeah, we, it's, it's always holidays. It they takes no break that. around here. No <laughs> such thing. All righty, let's change direction for a minute. The Mississippi High School Activities Association Executive Committee. Mm -hmm. You've been on that. Are you still on that committee? I am still on that committee. I am in my 10th year. I am in my third term. And um, it's something I enjoy. I know we got the state championships coming up the last weekend in November, first weekend in December. And um, they're, they're at university, they're at Ole Miss this year, and they're back, you know, back on, the, on those campuses, been at USM the last few years. But um, I know the people in South Mississippi was hoping it would stay at USM. But obviously, Ole Miss has got back in the rotation, and and, and that's okay. We it, it needs to be moved around a little bit. But um, you know, we gotta have we gotta have, we gotta follow the rules. Everybody does, and yeah. that's that's what this committee I'm on. We make sure that everybody's on a level playing field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's got to be a, a rewarding service as well. Now let me ask you, how about the seven classification? First year with the playoffs. Has that been a major ordeal trying to, to map out how you're going to play and who you're going to play and when they're going to play? Or no, easy? I mean, when, when they proposed this, they had a lot of stuff that was already laid out as far as the brackets and stuff like that. I, I think the biggest thing that we're seeing is, and a lot of complaints that I'm hearing where I'm going is, you know, it's watered down a little bit. And I'm sure that's some stuff that we will we will look at as a committee. But I know for the next two years, you know, there's, a, there's seven classifications. Yeah. And if the member schools come out and want to reduce it back to six or back to five, um, then that's something that, that, that will be voted on by every school in the okay. state. Okay. Uh, we're getting short on time. I want to ask you, is there anything else about uh, Wayne County, Wayne County High School you want to throw out here? I mean, there may or may not be anything you can think of. You know, the biggest thing I, I need, I need the parents that's, that's here, uh, number one is to support your kids. but. I need the kids to come to school every day. That's, that's one thing that everybody in this state is fighting is, is truancy kids not coming to school. And um, if they're not here, they're missing out on something. And uh, this, is a, this is a good, safe place for them to be. And I encourage the parents to be at everything that, that, that they can possibly be at and uh, support their child and support their school. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. We thank you for your time. We thank you and salute you for all that you've done here and are doing here at Wayne County High School. It's making a difference, and we a grade, baby. Hey, I'm hey, great. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for having me tonight. Uh, all righty, we appreciate you. We're going to take a break to hear from our sponsor, and we'll be back with more Wayne County High School Warrior football after this break.